Hello, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We've been having a number of people coming in with problems. Uh, they're having some pain, some pinching feeling when they do pressing movements, like in a bench press or an overhead press or push up um, or even in a dip. They're having some pinchy feel in their shoulder, some impingement stuff. So we're finding that these people with a little bit of pinching stuff going on in their shoulders, a little bit of discomfort when they're doing these movements, is they're having problems with internal rotation of the shoulder. So the shoulder can externally rotate, it can internally rotate. What's happening is they're missing some of that internal rotation. Well, here's one quick uh, trick to kind of get more internal rotation of that shoulder, so that way when they do these pushing movements, it feels a lot better for them and get into a better position and it doesn't feel as pinchy for them. So one thing you can do, you can go into uh, something to grab onto, for instance, or whatever. You can be in here, and what you're doing is you're taking your hand behind you here, just like this, and you're leaning forward, just like this. If you can come over here, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. You take your hand up as far as you can go in the post, and then you're leaning forward just a little bit. And again, you want to be gentle with this because this is not a normal uh, position that a lot of people can get into is this internal rotation of the shoulder. Um, ideally, too, you don't want to arch your back. You want to just bring your shoulder back just gently like this. And so it's not rotated forward because what happens is that people have a tendency to dump forward and then they get more internal rotation here. But what you want to do is you want to keep that shoulder back as you do the movement, just like that. And you can hang out in here. You can go over to the side a little bit. You can move this way, move this way, you move forward, you can move back. And just try to get, work those tight corners in that shoulder to improve internal rotation of that shoulder. You can even do this in a door jam. So if you don't have a post or anything like that to do it in, you can come over here in a door jam and do the same thing. So you can be in here, you put your hand behind your back, just like this, as high as you can go. Put it in the door jam, put the elbow right here in the door jam, and then you're leaning that way. And you can feel this tightness open up into the, uh, the pec, the lat, as well as the anterior shoulder area right here. So again, this is what it kind of looks like in the back. And if you if you come if you come over this way, I can kind of show you right here what it looks like behind you. You're doing this. Again, you want to just kind of work these tight corners. It doesn't have to be a static stretch. You can move it around, mobilize it, contract, relax in through here to improve range of motion in that shoulder. And then when you go to do those movements, you'll feel you'll have just more opportunity, more range as you do those pressing movements. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. Uh, please like, subs uh, subscribe, and share. And um, thank you again for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. You take care. Bye-bye.